funny the things you forget. I.、Uh, I went to see my mother the other day, and、uh, she told me this story that I, I'd completely forgotten about. How, when we were driving together, she would pull the car over, and by the time she had got out the car and gone round the car to let me out the car, I would have already got out the car and pretended to have died. Because that's how you die. <laughs> and I remembered that was、uh, that was a game I used to play with myself to entertain myself whenever I was bored or, or frustrated. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> People say we live in an age of information overload, right? I, I don't know about that, but I just know that I get too many marketing emails. I got、uh, a marketing email from a, a, a supermarket firm, which、uh, will remain nameless for. Predominantly legal reasons, but which I'm going to call、uh, Safe Mart. <laughs> I got an email from them, and it said it went like this: It said,、um, "Just three weeks until Safe Mart at King's Cross opens." And I resented this because not only do I not remember signing up to that, but I, I resent the fact that they, they appear to think that I should be excited about a shop opening. So what I did is I,、um, I scrolled down to the bottom of the email and I pressed、uh, unsubscribe. And、I thought that'd be the end of it, but a week later I got another one that said, "Just two weeks until Safe Mart at King's Cross opens." And I thought, well, obviously I haven't clicked hard enough, right? So I I tried it again, right? Lo and behold, a week passes. You guessed it, just one week until Safe Mart at King's Cross opens. And here's the problem: the internet gave us access to everything, but it also gave everything access to us. You know, I think right. It's hard enough to discriminate between the things that genuinely matter in this world and you know the minutiae of life without having emails about supermarket chains and Candy Crush saga. And I was really annoyed with them. And I thought, okay, I should just—I was about to write a strongly worded email, which I can do quite well. <laughs> and I thought, no, I'm going to find the game. So I replied to it and I said, I literally cannot wait. What do you need from me? <laughs> They go back to me. This guy called Dan said, "Hi James, I've asked a colleague to help me with your query. <laughs> like it needs help." I said, "What's the plan, Dan?" I'm thinking fireworks, bouncy castle. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. I said, "I'm just tremendously excited about the opening." Do you want to put the bouncy castle, or shall I? He said, "I, th- I think you have misunderstood. <laughs> A new store is opening, but there is no celebration plan." I said, "But what was all the three weeks until two weeks until emails? I was getting excited." <laughs> I'm sorry, you're disappointed. <laughs> I said, "Not to worry." Let's do something anyway. <laughs> Besides, the deposit on the bouncy castle was non-refundable. <laughs> If we don't use it, we're out a few hundred quid, Dan. <laughs> He said, "Mr. Veach, I'm not responsible for anything you've ordered." I said, "Let's not get into who did what." <laughs> Bottom line, you and I are in this together. Question: Would he be there to make sure people take their shoes off? <laughs> And I'll be honest. Then my relationship with Dan deteriorated somewhat because the next email I got was this: "Thanks for email. Your case number is." <laughs> oh, that's outrageous! I said, Dan. <laughs> And I got. I was just like, "This is." And I, I said, Dan. And he just. It just kept. And I thought, this is terrible. All I'm doing is collecting case numbers. I said, I said, D Dog. <laughs> the store is now open. <laughs> I said, but Dan, I must have wondered why there was no bouncy castle. And then we were back to this. 
And that might have been the end of the story. But I remembered that anything, everything, even something as mundane as getting out of a car, can be fun if you find the right game. So, this is what I replied. <laughs> And we just,、uh... <laughs> it was like we were dancing. It was just a beautiful relationship. We just kept kept going, and it was, it was, it was lovely. But to be honest, guys. It was quite labour-intensive, and、um, you know, I had other stuff to do, believe it or not. And so,、uh, what I did is, I have a little,、uh, I have a little、um, uh, email auto-replier program. And what I did is, I set it up so every time it receives an email from SafeMart, it just pings one back, right? So I set it up, and it says, "Thanks for email. Your case number is," and then it has a little formula that I wrote、uh, to up the case number every time. And I put it on the server and set it running. I'll, I'll be honest, guys. Then, then I forgot about it. <laughs> I checked back on it the other day,、uh, and it appears、um, there've been a number of emails going、uh, back. And <laughs> we're on twenty-one thousand four hundred. It gives me an immense sense of satisfaction to know that. These computer programs are just going to be pinging one another, you know, for, for eternity. <laughs> And as the legacies go, I don't, I don't think that's bad. <laughs> so, guys, just remember, right? If ever you feel weighed down by the, you know, the bureaucracy and often mundanity of modern life, don't fight the frustration. Let it be the catalyst for whimsy. Thank you. Thank you, guys.